갑자기 내게 나타나죠 너난 아무 말도 할 수가 없었지 첫눈에 반한다는 이야기가 널 보는 순간 이해가 됐어 매번 야야야야야 불러 널 야야야야 내 맘을 고백하려고 타이밍만 보는 나 그런 나를 안 보면 왜 그러냐고 묻네 너 때문에 오케이 so let us try to draw a pair of perpendicular lines with a ruler and a set square you can use this kind of uh, triangle or you may also use this one so let's start step one draw a straight line using a ruler so I have here my improvised ruler I will try to draw it in the middle so you draw a straight line So that's step one. Step two, place a set square on the line as shown on the paper. So let us use this one. You may use this side or this side. Okay, now I'm using this side and I'm putting this straight edge over the line that I had drawn a while ago using the ruler. Step 3. Draw a line along the other edge of the set square. So this is the line. I am going to draw a, verti a vertical line tracing going up the set square. Okay. And there you have it. We have a perpendicular line that has a right angle. Now let us try another one. Okay, first, draw a horizontal line using a ruler. And then this time, I'm going to put my set square okay i may use the other one this one okay i will use my set square and this time i'll do like this put it in the middle but see to it that this edge is in line with the horizontal line i had made a while ago with the ruler and then trace it okay so there you have it we have perpendicular lines. How about drawing a perpendicular lines or perpendicular lines using points? So first, let us plot down points on our paper. So we have point E and then here point F. Now, how are you going to create perpendicular lines connecting line EF and point H? Now, let us try to create the perpendicular line. First, connect points E and F by drawing a horizontal line. Okay, let us put the point up on the line to make it straight. Next, step two, draw a line along the edge of the set square through point H. So, I'm going to use this set square and then this edge should be in line with the a horizontal line I had made a while ago connecting point E to point F so I'll put like this and then slide it over until I touch point H it's there so point H is there and then I will just have to draw 
a line connecting this point H to line EF. So there you have it. We have perpendicular lines. Okay, this time we are going to draw parallel lines. Now, how to draw parallel lines? First, you need your ruler and any of the set square. This time, I'll be using this. Okay, when you say parallel, the lines do not meet or do not intersect. They go in the same way or in same direction, even extended in opposite directions. Step one, draw a straight line using the ruler. So, I'll be needing this ruler again. Okay, I, I, may, uh, I may need to draw the line a little bit above. Okay, after that, get your set square and align this straight edge over the horizontal line we had made a while ago. Okay, make sure they are properly lined. And then, of course, uh, you'll be needing your ruler. Put it on the side over here. Okay, make sure that uh, your ruler and your set squares are not uh, overlapping each other. So, you can slide them again later. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you how you will slide it. Okay, step three. Slide the set square along the ruler and draw another line. So it is very important that your ruler and your set square do not overlap each other because you will need to slide it down. Slide it down. Okay, make sure that they are still uh, aligned with each other. And then afterwards, you may now draw another horizontal line from this to there. So, there you have it. You have two parallel lines. Okay, let us draw another example how to create another line that is parallel to A, B. Okay, again, we will do use your set squares, any, any of them. Okay, I'll be using this one this time. I'll be lining up, aligning this edge over the vertical line or the line A, B. So, I'll be doing like this. Make sure that you can see the straight line. Not like this or not like that, but like this. Okay. And then afterwards, you need your ruler again. Put it on one uh, side of the triangle. And then, it's very important, you will slide, that's the third step, slide the set square to the right without overlapping. Do not overlap your set square with your ruler so you can slide it properly. Slide. And then draw or trace a line. Okay, you can name this one line C, D. So we have line A, B is parallel to line C, D. Okay, so let us have uh, more examples using uh, points. So I have here different kinds of lines. They have names and we call them by the letters or the points. We have line A, B, line C, D, and line H, I. Okay, so we are going to create parallel lines for each of them. So first, let's start with line A, B. First, you need to put your set square Again, it's very important to align this straight edge over the line that is given. Okay, so we have here, align it here. Remember, we are doing parallel lines. So as you can see, I had put or aligned the straight edge or one side of the triangle over line AB. And for this time, you should always have to use your ruler 
So you can slide down again your set square smoothly and create parallel lines. So for this time, you may either slide the set square downwards or upwards. But make sure that the ruler and the set square do not overlap each other so this time I'll still be going downwards and then create or trace a line over this edge okay I shall name this line R S so there you have it line a B is parallel to line R S now how about if the line or the given looks like this Okay, always have to line, do not worry, always have to line one side of the triangle or your set square over the given line. So for this time, I'll be doing like this. Okay, you just have to uh, flip your triangles. It doesn't have one position. It, it's not always like this. It's not always like that. Or like this sometimes it can be like diagonal also you just have to follow the given line so this time I'm following like this and I'll be putting my ruler over here not under okay because if you put it under you will slide your uh, set square like this and it won't be it won't be it might not be exact uh, parallel to the given line Although you may try like this, but I am teaching you to please create the, the right angle. This one, the right angle of your set square should be followed always. So I'm putting my ruler up and then slide it downwards to the left. And then draw my line. I shall name it uh, M. N. So there you have it. We have line CD parallel to MN. Line MN. And then this one. In the first example a while ago, in the discussion, we already have like this. So this one's very easy. I will use the other one. So it's only like this. Okay, make sure they are aligned again. And then put your ruler down. So we can slide it either to the right or to the left. This time I'm going to slide it to the left and draw a line. Okay, it doesn't matter if the line that you have drawn is longer or shorter. We are talking about parallel lines here and we are not talking about exact measurements. So we have here, okay, I will name it JK. So line hi is parallel to line jk so that is how you do parallel lines okay this time we are going to create perpendicular lines so when we say perpendicular lines uh, these are a pair of lines that intersect and do create 90 degrees or right angle perpendicular lines now how about if the given are like this so we have uh, line PQ perpendicular to line or point R so that means we are going to connect or create a line connecting point R to PQ to create perpendicular but it is not simple that we just connect it right away by drawing lines let us see to it that it creates 90 degrees angle as it reaches or as it intersect PQ and so with line NO okay, and let's see to it that the point P when we connect it with NO, line NO will create also a right angle. And so with line UV perpendicular with line or point W. So for example, we just draw a straight line like this. So this one, we are not sure if it is a right angle. So therefore, we need set squares. Okay, because the set, set squares are accurate because as you can see the corner of it is a 45 uh, 90 I'm sorry 90 degrees angle 
and so with this one has a 90 degrees angle we are not measuring this part okay this is not and so is this no let's begin let's start with the line pq first get your set square okay align this edge over line pq okay so this time you'll be needing again your ruler again we are not creating parallel lines here so do not uh, put your ruler over here and slide it up otherwise the lines will be parallel and they will never meet so we have to put it right here okay. of course do not overlap them and then slide it over until you see the point so slide it slide 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 and there you have it you can see now the point now you may draw a line connecting this point to line PQ so there you have it we have perpendicular lines now let us uh, do the other one okay I'll be needing to align my set square over here on top of line NO and my set square also and then slide it up until I see the point which is supposed to be connected with the line and all okay there you have it and then just connect and there you have it perpendicular lines and then last but not the least let us connect UV with the perpendicular to line W okay so again I'm aligning up this part or you may try also this edge if you want and then of course your ruler over here on the line and then make sure that the point is aligned there and then just connect okay so there you have it perpendicular lines so that is how you make parallel and perpendicular lines